Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Pulse Crescent's Varsity Roundtable, a weekly look at high school sports in the Fox Valley area and the only live online high school sports talk show in the state. I'm Ricardo Arguello, part of the USA Today Network Wisconsin digital live stream team, and we are here in an amazing high definition at the mothership, the Pulse Crescent 306 West Washington Street, downtown Appleton, and this week our focus shifts to football, and we are proud and excited to have two guys from one of the top teams in our area, from one of the top teams in the state in Division I, from the Nina football team, farthest over to my right, Logan Iden. Logan, say hi to everyone. There you go. And then right next to me is another Logan. It's Logan Squared, Logan Moreau. Logan, there you go. He did wave, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah this, uh, we're, guys are on board to talk about the great season that they've been having. They're undefeated and they're ranked and uh, their excitement for the rest of the season and uh, possibly a long run in the postseason. But before we start, I wanna let everyone know that we are live and interactive. So if you're out there, and I know you are, you're watching us, you want to ask guy, these guys some questions, but I want to, there's some ground rules you got to put down though, okay? First off, got to put down your name. Don't be putting anonymous or guest. Guys want to know who's asking these questions. And number two, ladies, I know it's hard to resist, but you can't be asking the guys for numbers or anything like that. This is all about football. Just keep it on the game and we'll be just fine. First couple shows we ever had, we had girls asking for numbers. Can't have that, guys. So I'm sorry, we're hurting your game a little bit. So let's get let's get on with it. So but before I want everyone again, we're interactive. So Brett over there, uh, Brett Christopherson behind the Dell computer, he'll get those questions over to us right away. And don't forget about Jim Rose, Dick Rosie punching buttons behind the machine. I'm not sure what he does, but he gets everything flowing. So you know we're in good hands. So let's start with some introductions. Logan Iden, this is the time I want you to look at the camera, let everyone know the position or positions that you play and how you got into football, my man, go ahead. Sounds good, so I'm a linebacker um, and I play a little tight end too, just a little bit, but how I got into football, my dad was really, I guess, really liked football a lot, um, sorry, at a young age, playing Pop Warner and then kind of got moved up to the circuit um, with middle school and high school and I guess now I'm here. Okay, all right, Logan. Yeah, I'm Logan Morrow, a wide receiver from Nina, and I kind of was just one of the kids who played all sports growing up, and football just ended up sticking with me. Okay, great stuff. Again, if you have any questions, log in. These guys can't wait to answer those questions. But first, I got a couple of questions for you guys right now. You guys are 3-0. and You're ranked at the top 10 in the AP poll. You guys are playing outstanding. Talk about the offseason, how motivated you guys were to first off get off to that kind of a start, but also let's, let's be honest, you guys have high expectations this year. How motivated were you guys in the offseason? We'll start over here with Aiden. Yeah, so um, personally, I mean, we always kind of got looked up to as a class. Um, okay. Our class, I guess, as indiv or like individuals and stuff, um, we always worked together, always worked hard. Um, we always had a chip on our shoulder because we always lost these close games, um, kind of pointing out yep. Appleton North this year. Um, we always lost those games last year. There was four of them where I guess we all wanted them back and we all had nightmares right. after the game for it. So I had extra reps. We're like waking up a little bit earlier. Okay. Um, I guess doing what we got to do to get the right season. So. Okay. Now, Moral, talk about uh, the, the playoff game you guys lost 45 7 to Appleton. That had to stick in your car a little bit like, come on, we, we're better than this. Yeah. We got to show everyone we're better than this. So, how much did that play a factor as well? That just hurt to lose to a team like that twice. That mm -hmm. A team that you know you could compete with, but it right. just didn't click when we played them and lose to them like that. It gave you that extra push in the morning when you didn't want to get up for lifting and to just keep it going in the summer. Well, now let's talk about that big win. Now, you guys are 3 0. You guys had some good ones, but one that sticks out, and we were watching. We were, we were watching, we were following that on Twitter, how you guys were doing against Appleton North, because that was a big game. You guys were able to pull that one out. And I know, I know Logan Iden, we talked about this before, about kind of getting that monkey off your back. So I'm going to start with Moro about this, and we'll, we'll follow up with you. But how, how relieved were you guys? I mean, because you guys, you, this is the Nina team that you guys feel like you guys are being able to pull out those kind of close games, right? Yeah. It was a game that, uh, it was a game that we definitely knew we could win going into, and we just knew we had to get the offense going, because the defense always takes care of business. So yeah, we obviously didn't flow very well off, off the bat, and he was the only one who scored for the first three quarters <laughs> yeah, on defense. Right. So then we just put it together at the end, and the last two drives, we got one. Yeah, yeah, I didn't show him some good hands there, my man. <laughs> take, me, take me through. Now you had a, was it a 48-yard interception return, was yeah, it? Yeah. Ta ta walk me through that play, and first off, uh, I'm, I'm sure you like your hands because you said you played tight end a little bit, but talk about, <laughs> break down that little play a little bit because, uh, Brett, it's always cool when the defensive guys yeah. get to run in uh, a touchdown. Yeah, I mean, uh, we've been watching that play all week. Okay. I mean, I was in the right position at the right time, made a play. I don't know, not a whole lot was going on. My head was going nuts. <laughs> so, I mean, when I came back to the sideline and celebrated with my team and stuff, it was, I don't know, it was an unbelievable thing. All right, and that was, a, that was a big play that kind of got you guys going a little bit. We have something so, from online, Brett? Yeah, we do. Okay, all right, let's see what we got. Possibly well, billions watching, guys, and everyone's <laughs> checking in. Not quite billions, but actually a pretty nice audience watching tonight. But uh, this is from Dan for both Logans. Who is your favorite of the Three Stooges? That's an interesting oh, question. 
Do they know I'll who the three stooges are? One. So yeah, we got the <laughs> three receivers on our team. They're all, I wouldn't say like super short, but I don't know, they just look like three stooges. <laughs> wait, 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 but he's a, he's a receiver too, but yeah. you're talking about three other guys. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. all right, I'm like, yeah. this guy's tall, all right. Um, Mitch, Dan, and Dono, they just like mess around. Like, I'm, not the whole practice, of course, but <laughs> yeah. they get their messing around in for sure. Um, favorite one out of the three, I gotta go Mitch. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go Mitch too. <laughs> okay. He's the only one that takes reps from me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Good stuff. Who's yeah. Mo, Larry, and Curly, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Which, which what, what do you got uh, next? Well, this up? is, uh, I'm not sure which Logan uh, this is for, but uh, this is from Tough Meat. And I, I oh, feel that's, that's, mean. Or that's for one of us. I don't feel comfortable saying that, Alias, but okay. uh, <laughs> it's for Logan. When are you picking up your uniform from my house? Oh, yeah. That's yeah, it. That's it. Oh, I let him rep me last week, so. Okay. He's a cross country okay. guy, but we played baseball when we were younger. Pretty okay, good, pretty good friends. Good stuff. That's very important. Uh, we we always uh, get those kind of questions, like well, who you rep in or whatever. Who you, who you allowing to wear your jerseys? Uh, Brett, let me get a question here. We'll go back over to online. Um, the defense. And I'm gonna talk to Aiden about this more specifically. One of the best in the area. We knew that coming in. I had three of you guys in here for the Elite Eleven, uh, and that's a rarity when we have three guys in from a, from one team. Mm -hmm. What makes you guys so dominant? I mean, uh, you know, Reese, Reese Heyerdahl, did I say that correctly? Heyerdahl, then Alex, yeah. Alex Bainland, did Bailin, I say? Yeah. Bailin. That guy's a trip. I like that guy. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, t t talk about the defense, because at every level, it seems you guys have playmakers. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, starting with our coaches, Camber is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. um, I guess he breaks down the whole game for us, breaks down every play for our opponents, everything. Um, then I guess going through our defense, our D-line, I would arguably say the best in the state. Right. Um, I guess Camber gets left out of there a lot too, but he's our other uh, bookend okay, for the defensive okay. end, and he's one heck of, a, heck of a player too. Um, the linebackers, I mean, we all have, I guess we've all played before. We got one new middle, but he's filling in fine. Okay. And then our DBs, I mean, they make plays and they do what they got to do. Okay. So I mean, overall, we all play together and we all have each other's backs. Okay. All right. Um, now, now I'm going to direct this question to you, Moral. Uh, how much pressure is that put on the offense? Knowing that your defense will be there, getting the job done. Now, no, no, I mean, because you guys have been playing well. No, don't get yeah, me wrong. Yeah. But how much does, more does that put a little bit more pressure on you guys? A little bit. Like we always get crap in practice because like the defense <laughs> is always there yeah. for that. But yeah. yeah, it still puts pressure on us. Like it relieves a little bit knowing that like we don't have to score every possession. We can still win a game, but it still puts pressure on us to like not have them run three plays. <laughs> Come back out because <laughs> yeah. we got to stay on the field to give them a break, otherwise they can't perform. Absolutely. All right. Again, here with Logan Idens. Logan Squared here. Logan Iden, Logan Morrow. Uh, if you have any questions for these Anina standouts, please log in and, and answer away, or uh, ask away, I should say. Brett, did you have something from online? A few more popping All in right. here, and I, I just don't know what these mean, but official Jeff SCH. I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about King Hype coming back? King Hype. What is King Hype? Who is King you, Hype? You, you go ahead. That's Jeff Schneider. He was okay. out the first three games. Okay. Um, he's back. He's back this week. Um, outside linebacker. He's uh, he's a good player. He'll play. Okay. But yeah, it's exciting to have him back. Okay. Another <laughs> weapon for the defense, Logan? Yeah, yeah, for sure. He's he's crazy. He's yeah, he's fun to be with. So. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I'm excited he's back for sure. All right. Called Good himself stuff. King Hype, yeah. so yeah. there you go. Now, yeah. did, did, now did he give that's himself that nickname? Yeah, you can't do that. You can't right give yourself right your own. <laughs> See, this is the way nicknames go. Other people, your best friends, your, your boys, they're the ones supposed to give you your nickname. You're not supposed to give yourself your own nickname. Ain't that right, Brett? Yeah. Come on, man. Oh, uh, you give yourself a lot of nicknames. I do, but, uh, well, you know. Let's do some more? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, Trevor for Logan, uh, when are you going to commit to Duluth? Who's that? It's you? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm my official this weekend. Okay. I had to lose, so, I mean, I'm not really planning on committing or anything right yeah, now. Yeah, give him some time. He's still playing we'll, out. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Still playing out the kind of recruiting good process. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Very program. good program. Good detail okay. program. Uh, Madi wants to know, uh, what are your favorite sports to watch besides football? There you go. We'll start with here with Moro and then I. Uh, besides football, I got to say volleyball and hockey. Okay. Like, that's my favorite, but I also, I'll throw in soccer, too, because I have a twin brother who plays soccer. Okay. Kuna, so, I like soccer a little bit, too. All right, got a big win yesterday, by the way, yeah. too. So yeah, I was going to say the same thing, yeah. actually. Um, I throw soccer in us now just because they beat up on Kimberly pretty good last night. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, our girls' volleyball team is really fun to watch. Um, yeah. I mean, they've been good all four years. I've been in high school. Um, and our hockey team is always fun to watch, too. So yeah. I mean, I'd probably put them too up there. Look, look at, in terms of, at least we'll stick with the fall here. Look at how many great Nina teams there are, yeah. right? So you got the volleyball team, the boys team, the soccer team's ranked. These guys are ranked. And then their tennis team, always there. Always I mean, Nina, Nina, Nina traditionally yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's incredible. It's, the, the it's always been that way. Nina's always Student been Student athletes there yeah. at Nina are just really, really incredible. So and you got another question there, Brad? Not right now. No. Okay. Um, 
Offense is coming around. Actually, that was my next question. How has that progression been uh, in terms of you guys kind of coming together? So I'm asking you, Logan, on that. Um, what do you see coming in the next coming weeks? A little bit more, you guys gonna be a little bit more fluid? Are things gonna come a little bit easier? How do you feel about that? I think we'll be a little bit more fluid as everyone gets to know the playbook a little bit better and where they're supposed to be okay. when and kind of just like fitting into their roles. But yeah, I think we'll be better putting up more points, better in like situations to where we don't have to just score in the last two drives of the game to win. Right. Okay. In, the, in the bigger games down yeah. the road. And yeah, I think we'll be a lot better going forward. How much does the defense play a part of that? You guys, uh, you, you guys battle against each other, I'm, t I'm thinking in practice. So how much yeah. does that play a factor in that? That's big because we're not going to go against a better defense in a game than we are again in practice okay. every day. So All right. that makes us better. Yeah, I mean, kind of building off that, we for sure chirp each other a little bit. <laughs> okay. Let okay. each other know when uh, someone else is having a bad day. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they work us, we work them. Okay. I'd say practice is pretty split, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, Sometimes that's good. That's encouraging. Tricks, huh? so. <laughs> that's encouraging to hear. Yeah, Brett, let me know when you have something else. Um, thoughts on the VFA and, uh, you know, everyone who I talk to, and, I, and you talk about chirping, I like to chirp a lot. So yeah. the writers in, in yeah. the state. And, uh, you know, I'm always like to say, ah, oh, the VFA. I mean, they'll, they'll start throwing the classic eight at me. Like, <laughs> I, was there just, I got into something with some dude from the radio station down there. And I was like, those, you, you take the VFA as a whole, it doesn't even, you know, your, your little classic eight doesn't really even compare. You know, a lot of it, a lot of it is because I'm thinking to myself, look at Kimberly. Kimberly's won all those titles, but you guys, get, you guys gave them their toughest game, yeah. right? And, 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 you know, Probably. they're basically the, them is, uh, they're the ones standing in your way, basically, of making it down to Camp Randall in many yeah, ways. Yeah. So you could say the three best teams the last couple of years were from Fond du Lac, Nina, and Kimberly, right? I mean, that, that's the way I see it. My point is the VFA has a lot of great teams. I'm thinking that's a great thing. What do you guys think about that? I mean, sometimes that prevents you from making it down because you guys are all playing yeah. in the same region. Yeah. But overall, do you like having that many incredible teams in the same conference? Yeah, I mean, like the last couple, I, I want to say last couple of weeks, but um, like when we have a game that's not, I guess, so, I guess, like hyped up or yeah. as big, um, I feel like people kind of like take it, I guess, easier in practice and stuff. Okay. Um, and I kind of like like the hype around school when we got like a big, Yes. Like the week before North, like it was awesome. Right. Um, we weren't in school then, but I mean, just like around the town and stuff, like talk was going on. Um, like what you're going to see against Kimberly and uh, a yeah. certain yeah. Fond du Lac team in the coming weeks? Yeah. So, I mean, I for sure like it. Um, it's a little bit, it might like reflect on your, I guess, overall record. Okay. Um, it might hurt your like overall ranking and stuff, but end of the day, I kind of like playing like Kimberly and Fondy and other teams like up to North. Okay. So. Thoughts on that? Uh, especially for a team like us that can easily compete with them. And, okay. Well, not easily, but can compete with them and beat teams like that. It's nice to have them in your schedule because, like, even when you're playing, like, low weeks that, like, teams aren't as good, like, you know you have to be better for teams like that. Okay. And it keeps you better so, like, you're not, like, playing an easy schedule the whole year. And then once you get to the third, fourth level of the playoffs, you got a game that you've never seen before. That's right, Classic. They're playing legit teams, not tomato cans. Ooh. Week in, week out. Uh, you got something from online, Brad? I do, but I think the coaches poll this week is uh – Fondy one, Kimberly two, Nina four. So three of the three wow. of the top four teams are from the VFA. It kind of yeah. shows you the strength That's of the that conference yeah. once again. I do. Uh, Jay Morrill wants to know if you guys could uh, talk about uh, what your team did to prepare for the season from a leadership standpoint. Ooh, I'm guessing okay. that. Yeah. yeah. A little relative please, there. please explain. Um, well, we had a lot of meetings, even starting last school year, with uh, leadership with all our seniors. Uh, just like being leaders and staying on the field, not making bad choices off the field like we had last year. We had a couple of those. And like, yeah, making good choices off the field and making sure all levels from even other, okay. other seniors down to freshmen are involved and know what's coming up. Now I'm going to talk to you about this too, Aiden, as well. But Brett, you and I have been around many championship teams. We've seen them all through the last, what, 10, 15 years, at least from when I've been here. Leadership has been the number one or one right at the top there. So how important is that, Logan? Yeah, I mean, uh, personally, I feel like all of our seniors have like a big role in our leadership, um, like as a team. And I mean, like there's only like a certain amount of like captains or whatever, and like people look up to them differently than other players. But I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like we all kind of like lead ourselves. And one of our big uh, things this year is like building our own house. Okay. Um, so I mean, it's everyone doing the right thing, then we're all getting better as one. So, I mean, I think our big thing is we're, we're all kind of pushing together, okay. all fighting for the same goal. Okay, all right. Well said, Brett. Do you have something else for online? I do. I shouldn't ask this question because it's posted by nothing. Nobody's put their no. name oh, or, or okay. oh, here, Here's on. a question for you guys. Are you guys nervous to play Kimberly? Hmm. 
Might be. I'll let you guys go ahead with that one. Might be a Kimberly fan. fan. No, I wouldn't say nervous. Like it's more excitement. Like that's a team you want to play. That's a game you want to play in because everyone's excited to play. There's a lot of energy around it, and you obviously want to win a game like that. Why would they be nervous? They took them right down to the wire last year. (laughs) Don't okay. All right. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just thinking about that. All right. Yeah, I'd say excitement for sure. Um, I mean, last year was a nail biter. And it was, it was probably, like, even though we lost, it was a really fun game uh, to play in. And I'd rather play games in like, like those than a 48 nothing blowout. Yeah. What does it feel like when you see them then go and just whip up on Sun Prairie in the championship game, knowing that you guys took them right down to the wire? Does that make it a little bit tougher, knowing that you, yeah. you lost against them? You guys were that close? Yeah, a little bit, especially like when in the playoffs we go out to Appleton North, who obviously we lost to twice, but yeah. like, and then they go out to Kimberly at level four, mm-hmm. and like teams like that, it's the only teams we lose to are teams that would go and like right. lose to Kimberly or, yeah, so yeah, state it's tough like that. Yeah, and that kind of goes off our whole like conference, I guess how good we are and stuff, um, because I mean like we play a bunch of teams before, like the best teams that we do play are potentially before the state championship. Right. Um, so I mean that kind of just builds off the whole like VFA, like potentially being the best. Yeah. Um, in the state, so. All right, so you agree with me that VFA is the best oh, in the yeah. state? Oh, easy. Yeah. Glad yeah. to no hear that. No question. Glad to hear that. Brett, do you have something else quick? Well, you, do you have time if I can Yeah, uh, and then we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, go to the well, halftime. Dan right. wants to know, what's your favorite ball drill, Mr. Morrill? Oh. Ball drill. Um, I'll go with sideline catches, because Mitchell is just such a great quarterback <laughs> throwing those, so <laughs> keeping your toes down and getting stuff like that. All right, good stuff. Well, I'm going to take a, a 30 here, because I have to pay some bills here. But first off, uh, you guys Packer fans? I did. Yeah. Tomorrow. yeah. Can't stand him. I'm a Bears fan, but oh, I co-host okay. a Packer show with that guy right over there, Brett Christofferson, and uh, that guy over there, Jim Rosedick, helps produce. This week we have Josh Jones joining us, right, Brett? Yeah. This coming Monday, yep. our the Packers safety, and he's going to be our host for the entire season. Great guy, by the way. I met him, and he couldn't have been more more cool. Uh, but yeah, come because what? It's Bear Week. It's a big week this week. You yeah. love your oh, Bears. Bears. I do love my Bears. I love Cleo Mack. I mean, I'm very excited. I'm very, very, very excited. But uh, yeah, so best Packer show around. It's called Clubhouse Live. It's down there. Everyone's invited. All, all everyone out there in. Uh, and internet will come on down. It's free every Monday, 6.30 p.m., following the game on Sunday or whatever. Uh, it's inside. Not, it's not the Paper Valley Hotel. Oh, it is the Paper yeah, Valley, is. but it's not the Radisson. It's, no, don't even say don't that. Don't even say Red Line. They're Sorry. Not. It's just the Paper Valley. Inside yes. is the Clubhouse Sports Grill. Go in every Monday, 6.30 p.m. Get yourself a seat. Uh, you get to meet all your favorite Packers. Who's your favorite Packer? I go with Rodgers. Rodgers? Say Rodgers, man. Um, I'll go with Devontae Adams. Devont- what, was Devontae on our show? Yep. He was yeah, on our rookie show rookie year, yeah. wasn't he? Rookie well, Aaron season. has been on our show a couple times as well. So see, all your favorite Packers have appeared on our show. So you want to come on down, have a great time, win great prizes, and you get to boo me as well. So it's fun, fun, fun. So come on down. Everyone's excited, and it's free, best of all. Uh, podcast. You know, we have a podcast, you guys, the R&B Show. Get it? Look at that, right? Uh, so every uh, Wednesday at noon, it's taped live on Facebook, uh, but oh, or facebook.com slash postcrescent. But you can also download it. Follow us uh, if you have an iPhone. It's on uh, iTunes or if you have the Samsung or whatever you got there. It's on Google. It's on uh, Google Play or Stitcher. So please subscribe. It's the only podcast dedicated to you guys, dedicated to the Fox Valley sports. Me and Brett and Rosie over there, we talk about what? Every, every week, 40 minutes or so, uh, giving you some of the best to talk about us. And we debate and we do all kinds of dumb stuff, so don't worry about it. But it's a lot of fun. We're talking about you, and that's the most important thing. Shout outs, guys. End of the show. Think about who you're going to send some love to, okay? I don't want you guys getting in the doghouse with anybody, okay? So be sure to make sure you got everyone named on there. And, Brett, our live stream this week is up at Stevens Point at Gerke Field. We're doing Appleton North at Stevens Point. I know what you're thinking. Wait, that's 1-2 and two versus 0-3. But these teams are in must-win mode. So it's going to be an exciting game. We're hoping it's going to be an exciting game. And I'm sure it's one that maybe you guys might be watching. Who knows if Appleton North drops to 1-3. and three, That's a pretty hard hole to get that's out crazy. of. Yeah. But, yeah, it's great. It's crazy to think about that. But, yeah, so tune in. 645 uh, will go on uh, postcrescent.com. Or you can also watch it live, facebook.com slash postcrescent. And, all right, second half. Uh, Coach Steve Young, what can you tell me about him? I, re- I already told you a story about uh, me showing up at his house one yeah. time on a Halloween. Uh, but, yeah, what, what can you tell me about Coach Young? He's a great guy. And, actually, when he first came, I did a story on him, if I remember correctly. Uh, he was very excited. He talked about turning the program around because you guys, at the time, had really been struggling. Yeah. I could see the determination in his eyes and in his face. Boy, that really carried over, didn't it, Logan? Yeah, um, for sure. I, I think he considers our football family – more closer than his actual okay. family. Um, I mean, he has all of our backs, and he kind of set a goal for us, and one, I guess, thought for all of us, and we're all just striving for it right now. So we all just starting to believe, and that's why our program's really starting to take off. Okay. 
point. Yeah, and I think like what you mentioned like before he came, that's a little extra motivation for us, like growing up watching a team that like didn't really win games. Yeah. Like it yeah, might yeah. kind of a disappointment in everyone. So like a little extra motivation there. But Coach Young did a great job getting everybody to come together, getting everybody in the weight room is a big okay. thing. Yeah. That and yeah, just getting better in summer and being more together as a team. How confident were you? You guys had to know you guys were gonna turn this around. You guys are a big yeah. school, you have way too many athletes to not uh, be successful. Was it a, really just a matter of putting in that work item? Yeah, I mean, our class is something special though. Okay. We got, we got some pretty solid athletes in there. Um, but even like before us, I mean, we we're kind of like building up like a 500 team, starting right, making right. the playoffs, starting getting some playoff wins. Um, and I mean, this is kind of our year to break through. And even like when we were in middle school, everyone kind of looked up, like saying like, all right, 19 class, that's, they got something special oh, wow. going on there. Okay. Yeah, you so, felt the same way, Logan? That didn't yeah, it was always like our class had the athletes, the like okay. top players that were just like, okay. everyone kind of looked forward to coming up and playing in high school. So yeah, it was always a little bit of excitement for that. Outstanding stuff. Um, Brett, I, I got a bunch. Okay, I'm, let's I'm, go. I'm, just, I'm not going to get to all of them here, all but right. uh, there's some really good questions. But official Jeff back, he wants to know who's the best dancer on the <laughs> team. Oh, who can dance a little bit? Dude, we got Timmy though too. I got good. Uh, I'll give it to Jeff. <laughs> Jeff's pretty good. He's got Jeff? that move. Schneider. Jeff Schneider. King okay. hype. King hype. King five. Five. He likes to call King himself. hype five. Yeah. <laughs> King hype five. Okay. Call him out. Keep, what do you got? Uh, Morals number one fan wants to know who has more game day swag between the two of you guys. Between the two of us. Uh, we haven't had a school day yet, though. Like That's true. In the summer, we kind of we hang out in the morning, actually. <laughs> we go to lunch. <laughs> yeah, and, then, right. and then we it's hang like, out before the game. Yeah. So, so we'll, look we'll, a little see. we'll see on that. We'll That's still to be determined, is what he's saying. Yeah. We'll see tomorrow. Yeah, OK. Mason wants to know for Logan Morrow, uh, your favorite route to run and why? Now, don't give away secrets, Yeah, don't give away though. too much. <laughs> well, I'm going to go with a hitch, because it's short. And then you, you get the ball quick and you have time to make moves with it. Okay. All right. Keep them coming. Yeah. Uh, Shubby uh, wants to know, Aiden, Shubby. why are you always barking Finish. up the wrong tree? Oh, God. <laughs> Shubby. Um, Shubby. 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 Yeah, he's our JV outside linebacker and like we're kind of partners for a lot of things. Okay. Um, when we do like indie stuff and we just kind of mess around with each other a little bit. So. Okay. That's his little saying. It's like whenever I'm messing with them, like, why are you barking up the wrong tree? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Al wants to know, did you guys plan to have opposite numbers, 13 for Morrow, 31 for Iden? Also, uh, Logan Morrow, why are you wearing a basketball shirt on a football show? <laughs> <laughs> Is that, you think that's Al Krieger maybe checking in possibly? <laughs> no, yeah, uh, we never really planned the numbers thing. It kind of yeah. just happened, and it worked out like that. And the basketball shirt, I didn't really realize I was wearing it. It was kind of a quick turnaround. We ended up ended practice like... 10 minutes before I had to come here, okay. so I slid one on and it ended up being a basketball shirt and I thought about it when I was here, but... Hey, this is all we care about right yeah. there. Yeah. This is Nina. Nina. Nina basketball is supposed to be pretty good yes, too. Yes, you're right. Winter, you're right on so. there. Go ahead. Uh, there's some kneeboard, uh, wakeboard questions. Uh, can you flip on a wakeboard? Ethan wants to know. And then uh, oh Iz wants to know, can you do a 360 on a kneeboard? I'm not sure flip what's going on 360. there. <laughs> what's going um, on there? Yeah, so the flip's kind of for me. Um, yeah. It's kind of like a joke. He has a, we are all at his cabin all summer. Okay. Um, so I mean, we're just kind of messing around the whole time, and we used to have like a normal ski boat. And the whole joke this summer was that like I could do a flip. Like whenever like people would come up to his <laughs> cabin, I'd always tell them I could do a flip. Yeah. And then like I just kind of like send one, and it wouldn't really, never really end up doing what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. But, but yeah, so flip, and then the 360. Yeah, I guess I cannot do a 360 on a kneeboard. That's what they like to. <laughs> okay. I know that they speed up whenever I try to do it, so that's why. But. <laughs> that's why. Okay. All right, great question. Got to be careful in the water. Yeah, right no doubt. What do you that's got? it for now. Oh, that's it. Okay. Uh, any embarrassing moments, guys? Always got to ask this question because we got to get you guys. Uh, yeah, got to got to got to find out some of the. I want to say dirt, but kind of the more embarrassing moments for you. Got anything kind of pop into mind? It doesn't necessarily have to come from football. If it was another sport or whatever. So we'll start here with Morrow. Uh, I'll start with the football one. I last year, I forget what game it was. I was on the sideline and I ended up getting a little too close to the field and the ref was coming down the sideline and ran into me. Oh. So I obviously got a sideline penalty for that. Oh, okay. That was a little embarrassing because then watching film the next day or the two days from then and it, you just look stupid. And like, did Coach say anything to you? Yeah, oh yeah, he was not happy during the game. Oh. But it, you just laugh about it later and it was a game that we were going to win anyway. So. Okay, all right, interesting. Logan? Um, I mean, I'd say my only embarrassing, like real embarrassing thing is like when my dad gets out on, uh, with sports <laughs> and uh, he, he shares his opinion on uh, who he yeah. thinks should be number one. I, I've read some of those, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah the thing I, is, I, I get a lot of crap for that. Yeah, and he puts his name down. He don't shy away. Oh, yeah, no, he lets it, yeah, yeah. he lets it fly. So um, I respect that. It's all right to have those opinions, but at least put your name behind it. His dad tweeted me when I sent out the schedule, the initial yeah. live stream schedule. He wasn't a little happy with me about that. So yep. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm trying no, to make it right, Mr. Iden, uh, to get Nina on there for weekend. <laughs> Yeah. for sure. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, so don't beat me up. Yeah, he doesn't really watch himself a whole lot on social media <laughs> at all. No filter. We're That's working okay. on it. We're working okay. on it. That's all right, okay. great stuff. You have something else, Brett? Uh, Cody D10 wants to know the funniest person you know, maybe funniest person on the team. Who, who, who's the jokester? Uh, I go, Heyerdahl's got some jokes every once in a while. Reese, Reese and Valen, I'd say the whole D-line. They're pretty okay. funny. Yeah, there's some. Um, Jeff, Jeff is just, he's just goofy all the time. Yep. Um, I mean, those are kind of uh, the only guys I really... <laughs> on offense, I've got my guy Dane, who's a tight end on the <laughs> JV team. That I like to mess around with a little bit. But besides that, yeah, we got some funny guys, but none that really stick out. <laughs> nice. Hey, uh, Brett, let me get a couple more in, then we'll go back online quick. Best, best player that you've gone against? I like this. We have defense and offense here. So uh, we'll start here with Morrow. Give me the best player that you've gone against. Can't be your own teammate. It's got to be your opposing team. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't really notice who I'm up against, like, names-wise. Okay. But I'd say... Like, Kimberly's always got a good sec. Last year they had a good secondary. Mm -hmm. And, like, you'll notice when you go up against good secondaries. Appleton North, their, little, their corner I played last two weeks ago was pretty good. But besides, I don't, like, remember names. But okay. It's just who I'm going against. Okay. Logan? Um, I'd say probably DJ Stewart from Kimberly last year. He was yeah. so hard to tackle, so hard to bring down. Um, I mean, other than that, I can't really think of any names. Arada was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I played him my sophomore year in the playoffs when they knocked us out. Yeah. Um, Josh Pitts is on the team. He's he's a solid offensive yep. tackle. Pitts, sure. Um, but other than that, not a whole lot of names stick out to me either. Okay. All right. Brett, do you have anything from online? I do, but before I, I, I love listening when they're talking about like JV guys. It sounds like a real close knit. Yeah, group, that's good to see. Program, yeah. All levels. Is that true? You guys all kind of a big family. Doesn't matter if it's freshman JV or varsity. Yeah, I'd say we are. Like everyone kind of meshes together, JV or varsity, because we like to suit up as many people as possible. So they're all on the sidelines, experiencing that, experiencing that on Friday. And yeah, nobody really discourages people because they're on JV. It's kind of just like push to be better. And who's this guy who's telling you to bark it off the wrong tree? Yeah. Oh, like Shuby. Actually, Shuby and Dane are both kind of like we yeah, kind of came a lot closer than this year, which is Shuby. pretty cool. <laughs> That's a confident guy right there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Shuby. Yeah. All right, Brett, you have something else? Yeah, let's do this from Reese to Logan, uh, Logan Iden. He wants to know your favorite blitz to run. Again, got to be yeah, careful. Yeah, be here. careful now. We don't know if that someone's just trying to figure something out about you guys. Yeah, so <laughs> we kind of have a joke. Um, and like, uh, it's pretty much all game, actually. Uh, we have a blitz called Dagger, which is okay. just me coming off the edge pretty hot. Okay. Um, kind of to go off that, though, my favorite blitz would probably be like a Dagger switch when I have Re Reese and me like switch. Oh, gotcha. Reese takes care of a couple guys for me, so I come off pretty clean most of the time. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. But, uh, yeah, all the right. Dagger is kind of an inside joke to our, our defense. I'm always right. doing it. Hey, rituals and superstitions, guys, before we go back online. Um, you guys, do you do anything specific before a game to get ready? Uh, you know, you gotta like take a nap or something first, or you know, you know what I'm talking about. Put your clothes on some kind of way. We'll start here with tomorrow. Um, I've never had too much for superstitions. I like to take a nap because I like to be rested. Right. But like, not much for actual superstitions before a game. I just kind of think about what I gotta do and get out there. Okay, Logan. I just do like the classic Jimmy John sub. Okay, uh, gotcha. Which one? Pulled pork usually. Okay. It's like some special thing that we got at Nina. All right. Um, but. I mean, other than that, not really a whole lot. Okay. I'm usually rushed. Um, yeah. I ti my timing is so bad, so I, I usually am like rushing out to the field okay, to gotcha. get in our lineup and stuff. But. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Brett, you have something from online quick? Hey, Jimmy Jazz number four with a little kicking ranch. That's what you got to get with some Jimmy Jesus chips. Guy. You're ready yeah, to go. Yeah. Our show not sponsored by Jimmy Jazz, by the way. <laughs> they should, though. They should, Everybody yeah. likes eating Jimmy Jazz. Uh, official Jeff wants to know for Aiden, can you do a wolf pack bark? <laughs> no. Uh, come on, <laughs> no, give him one. No, we're not doing a wolf pack bark. <laughs> only then, Jeff does those too. Like, that, like he's the only one that does those. I figured we wouldn't get a, a demonstration here. D Thurber, I think I'm saying it, wants to know what do we need to do in the student section? What do you guys want Great to see question. from your students? Freshmen. Great question. Freshmen need to start participating a little bit more. Okay. Um, yeah. We've gotten a lot better though. Can we get some of your guys to rile them? We we'll get Shuby. Get that guy over. Yeah, get him on the Yeah, Shuby's got. To, he's got to pick his stuff up during game days, yeah. but. <laughs> but well, how would you how would you grade your student section though? Do you like do they bring the do they you know, bring the noise or what? For big games, I'd say they do for sure. Like Appleton North is crazy. That was a mm -hmm. loud game. That was a lot of fun. But I mean, I don't really think anyone will be there tomorrow. Okay. Because like Thursday game, yeah, so you got know. that. But I don't really expect them to. Okay. But yeah, I'd say normally they bring it. They're a bit loud. They're fun. So. Okay. Interesting. Plus the whole dynamic of no school for the first three weeks is kind of. Kind of funky yeah, too. Yeah, a lot, yeah, yeah, it's a lot of people bad. going up north or something. Let's do one more, Ricardo, and I'll wrap up the, okay. the chat for uh, for uh, from official Jeff for Logan Iden. He also, why you clap all the time? Why are you always clapping? Oh, I mean, it's kind of like 
I don't really know, honestly. <laughs> like whenever like they try to like make us jump or anything, and we don't jump. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. I get a little clapping going. <laughs> nothing, nothing too crazy. Okay. Now, how long have you been doing that though? Do you know? Kind of like sophomore year, kind of started okay. a little bit. Okay. All right. Um, Josh Dorsner actually was one who taught me one of my senior defense events. Okay. Got me in a little trouble last week though when I was clapping in someone's face yeah, and a little bit. <laughs> some oh. flags were flying. But other than that, <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. Interesting. Good stuff. Well, Brett, let me uh, kind of wrap up here as well. Uh, greatest sports memory, guys. This is my last question before we do shout outs. Uh, again, it doesn't necessarily have to be football. We'll start over here with Aiden. Uh, anything come to mind? Um, probably my pick six against Carter. Okay. Was, yeah, me and Carter are good buddies. So. Okay. I mean, he's a great player too. So just like doing something like that is. Did you give him a couple texts the next day? Or? I, I texted him the next day yeah. and he didn't have much words to say. So. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, I'd have to go with my catch at the end of that game. To okay. finish it off and win it, that was crazy. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was just something else. So. Amazing to have these two guys play such significant, uh, be significant factors in that win, big win over Appleton North. Okay, guys, it's time for shout outs. Now, Rosie, show them the camera they'll be looking at right there. All right, go ahead. We'll start over here with Logan and, or, well, Aiden, I should say. Send some love out to people who got you where you are today. Go ahead. Yeah, so um, I gave my mom and dad. Uh, my sister, Allie, who's in lacrosse right now, she told me to give her a little something. Um, three Stooges. I give them <laughs> a little love. And then I'd say our whole defense. Um, so the Wolf Pack, I guess our family and our bond. Um, it's unbelievable. It's something I'll never forget. Um, other than that, though, coaches, I'd like to say thank you to them. Um, Pretty much it. Okay, Moro? Uh, I'll obviously go with mom, dad, my brother Mason. Go check out a Nina soccer game. He'd love <laughs> yep. that. Um, my little brother Nolan. Uh, hopefully, we get him to like sports. But yeah. Okay. And then obviously coaches. All right, great stuff. You know, my shout goes to. I had a I had a shout out, but in fact, I'm gonna switch it up. It's gonna go out to the Shuby kid. And I've never <laughs> met you, but I, I admire the swagger this kid has to talk to yeah, his, his guy. I mean, Shuby's got a mouth. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, I mean that, okay, all right. I mean, you're telling him, you know, barking up the wrong tree. That's great. I like that. I gotta send you a shout out for Dane, that one. Dane too's got a. He's got some. Yeah, he I like this. He's got words to say too when he when I line up against him. <laughs> I mean, like come on, you take these guys seriously. You just kind of laugh that off. I mean, sometimes that's gotta be hilarious, man. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we mess around. Well, Dane, Dane and Shuby, they're both like I wouldn't say like big guys. They're real skinny, but they're tall. Yeah, they're okay. Really taller. Dane's like six five, so. <laughs> I mean, they're fun messing with. Okay, good stuff. Okay, guys. Um, well, I wanted to talk about your college plans first. Uh, Logan, you, you're still in that kind of mode where you're still figuring things out a little bit. You're a, you're, you're a guy that has a lot of interest. Take, walk, take us through some of this stuff quick. Yeah, so um, I guess run through the levels. Big 10, I have a couple preferred walk-ons. Okay. Um, got some, I guess, scheduled my uh, visits. So I'm going to Minnesota and Madison. Uh, still talking to Iowa when okay. I'm going down their game. Um, I have my officials then for D2s coming up. Okay. Um, I got Duluth and Winona plan so far, and okay. then FCS schools. So okay. the step down from Division One. I. Um, I got a couple. I mean, still talking to a lot of schools, but nothing too big on the table. Just got my first one from Belpo. Okay. But other than that, um, I guess I'm still kind of waiting to see how the season ends up. Okay. All right. Now, how about for you, Moro? Are you looking to play at the next level? Well, what's uh, up? I don't think so. I don't think I'm looking to play at the next level. Okay. Just go to school and. Go from there. Okay. All right. Now, here, here's my final question. Guys, look, our area, in my opinion, has the best football in the state. Okay. I'm expecting teams to be down at Camp Rando, and every year we have like two or three or four sometimes make it down there from, well, throughout all divisions, too. Give me, give me some love here, man. You got, we going to see you guys there? I mean, I mean am I going to go to Camp Rando? I'm going to see red, Badger red, and I'm going to see Nina red. Am I going to see Nina red? Am I going to see Badger red? Well, am I going to see a whole lot of red, I guess is what I'm saying, Logan? I'd like to say, yeah, you are. Okay. We'll, we'll put everything together and we'll be able to put that stretch together at the end of the season. Okay. Aiden? Yeah, it's for sure a different feeling. I mean, every year we always say our biggest goal is to go to state. But, I mean, this year, like, we're pretty set in stone on it. Um, I mean, we always talk about, like, winning conference and, like, moving on through the levels. And, I mean, our, honestly, the only thing we're all thinking about right now is, of course, like, yeah. week to week. But right. At the end of the day, we're working. We're wake, working to win state. So. Well, I hope it's like uh, other teams thinking, "Oh man, we played those guys." You know, in the regular season, they're watching yeah, guys yeah. on TV. That'd be great, great stuff to see. So, hey, thank you so much again for tuning in for another great episode of the Varsity Roundtable. Again, uh, check us out next week. Hopefully, we're going to have perhaps maybe some soccer players. Actually, I'm thinking about having some of the Nina guys on either either next week or the week after that. But best place to find out uh, who's going to be on is on Facebook.com/postcrescent. So please. Go there, check it out, follow us as well, and uh, we'll get you updated on who's going to be on the show. Again, for Logan Iden, for Logan Morrell, I'm Ricardo Arguello, part of the USA Today Network Wisconsin Digital Live Stream team. Don't forget about Brett Christofferson and Jim Rosendick, also part 
of the USA Today Network Wisconsin digital live stream team. And for everyone, please check us out, out again next Wednesday, 7 o'clock, for another edition of the Varsity Roundtable. Till then, have a great week, everyone. Keep smiling.